Welcome to Crash Racer. Today we're playing Wreckfest and we're going to have a go at the four daily challenges. Challenge one then is a race at the Death Loop. Four lap race and all 24 vehicles in this. And you always know it's going to be a good day when one of the daily challenges is at the Death Loop. Normally makes for a good exciting race. Let's try not to get. Oh, let's try not to get pushed off the ramp like we did to that van. <laughs> oh, which we don't get twisted as we come off the jump there as well. Lost a lot of places there, but at least we're uh, we're still moving. Whoa! I'm going for the loop. Yeah, wasn't sure if I was going to get pushed left, but uh, we managed to get through the loop. So. And that's put us right up in where is it when we turn out fourth yeah so they're the three leaders right ahead of us <clears throat> oh can we get over the ramp might be safer Whoa. <laughs> big takeout well I went for the ramp on purpose because I thought it was going to be safer but absolutely got taken out and in actual fact if I'd have just uh, driven the normal way that that vehicle probably would have shot straight over my roof so come out of it okay though we're still up in about seventh eighth watch for the cars flying over us again let's go for the loop again whoa over the top of that one and we're in fourth again so <laughs> we're about in the same position as we were on the first let's go for the ramp again because it is safer and that time it did work out that uh, that did help us avoid a, a crash that time round. Okay, halfway stage then. Another two laps to go. Up in fifth now. Fourth now as we overtake that one that's gone on the right hand path. See if we can get up the inside here. Those two have gone wide as well. Is that going to put me in the lead? Yeah, just a. Oh no, no, not in the lead. So that other car was in front. Where did that go? I didn't actually see. I was looking at the other ones. I don't know if it went around the loop or the other way. Can't see see it so that's it there okay right behind the leader then as we come round towards the start of the last lap let's go for the ramp again for a bit of safety I think we'd have probably been okay anyway that car's coming fast behind me leader's gone the right hand lane I'll go the left hand lane a couple of back markers in the way Oh, up in first. Up in first. So one of those ones that had crashed just on that final turn, I think, must have been the leader. I hadn't noticed and assumed that the back marker we were following was the leader. Okay, we need just need to get round this final corner then and through this crossover one last time. We'll go for the ramp again for a little bit of safety. Yeah, I think we're through. So a win and a gold trophy then on the first challenge of the day. Challenge two is a race at the Savalak Sandpit and we are in the limo, nice big red limo. Five lap race, again all 24 vehicles. slightly tricky track this one obviously a lot of dirt sections and a lot of runoff sections as well so you get the corner wrong and you can be in a world of trouble as demonstrated by those three cars who just drove straight on at that corner up into 10th reasonable start going to get in a few places here hopefully got to watch here because the road now is around this tight right hand hairpin and over the line for the start of the second lap up into fifth just at the moment a bit of a nudge from behind there leader has pulled away slightly but not too far hopefully we're, we're going to have a chance to to pull that gap back a 
that was the leader yeah that's the leader right in the distance just going around out of sight around that right hand corner oh car flying up the inside okay so still in fifth we've swapped places with a different car got a good run on him though so we've made up one place on that lap can I get my nose up the inside here yep yeah. puts us into third are we gaining on the leader Ooh, watch that wrecked vehicle yeah there's the leader there just going over the over this little jump so we are gaining slowly okay just two laps to go then need to get past this second place as fast as I can can we get up the inside for this next uh, bend yeah we don't want to bend the outside let's get our nose up here hopefully we don't get squeezed no we're past so that's good so around this tight right then and onto the finish straight for what's then going to be the start of the last lap leaders definitely as close as he's been but we have got a lot of work to do this is going to be a push to catch him before the finish especially if I go wide on corners like that might need him to make a mistake there's a few cars off on the left by the look of it no back markers probably could have done with a back marker as well holding the leader up okay shoot down here then over this jump and then it's into the final tight right hander I'm still quite a way behind I'm, I'm gaining very slowly but no no back markers in the way I'm not going to catch him now oh well good race though I have to settle for second place and a silver trophy on that one Challenge three then, and it's a score streak at the Thunder Bowl. Had a few score streaks here lately, and normally quite a challenge. We've only got three minutes, which is the slightly shorter length of time. It's normally either three or four minutes, and it's the the higher level, if you like, of points. Three thousand two hundred for the for the bronze. It's normally either three thousand two hundred or two thousand four hundred. So. Yeah, we've got the the harder points totals to get and the, the lower time, so could be a tough one. Had a reasonable start so far, building the multiplier up nicely. Got to keep getting these hits, though. Okay, we've got just that's just under a minute or a minute gone now we're doing okay we were doing okay but I've just lost the score multiplier the score was going okay and the multiplier was well up but now we've lost it that's going to make things a bit more tricky if we can get the score multiplier up again and obviously there's going to be a lot of damaged cars going round as long as we can get the bronze trophy with at least a minute left it gives us a chance obviously that makes it really tight but it it's certainly doable so we need at least a minute left getting close one more hit might do it how didn't that count it didn't count because the front end is caved in fortunately I did get points for a wrecking assist which has given me the bronze trophy and we have got over a minute left and we have built the score multiplier up again as we've seen my front end's pretty damaged so some hits that otherwise would have counted might not count now so I've got to be aware of that make sure I get pretty good heavy hits let's hit something quickly there we go that puts us within a thousand of the silver trophy 
I need to get that as quick as possible. There we go. That was, glancing blow was enough to get a wreck and give us the points for the silver trophy. Just under 30 seconds left, so again, certainly doable, but it's going to be close. Oh, I could have done with hitting that one because that would have almost certainly been a wreck if I could have hit that. That might have given me all the points I needed. That one does instead though, so there we go. Gold trophy, and about 10 seconds left when I got it. A little bit closer than I would have liked, but that's alright. Gold trophy then, and a score of 9,591. On to the fourth and final challenge of the day then, and we're at the Hellwide circuit, and we are in Bugzilla. 12 vehicles in the race, and it's just a 255 lap race. So yeah, that should be uh, quite good. I'm going for the world record of the longest YouTube video here. Okay, I'll, I'll come clean on this one. <laughs> Someone commented on my last video, Jag Cycle it was, that they'd noticed this fourth challenge had got 255 laps on it. I think it's going to be a mistake. I think so. So you might have noticed on the uh, on the menu screen that I have had a go at this challenge, which. Again, people who watch know I normally don't do that. I normally go sh fresh into the challenges without trying them, but because of that comment, I had a look at this one to try and work out what was going on. I too am mystified about what this challenge is, really. As it says, 255 lap race. I presume if you do all 255 laps, it would finish, but from what I've seen, the race seems to just end at seemingly random points. I've done it before where I've wrecked all the other vehicles or the other vehicles have been wrecked, I haven't personally wrecked them all. Um, and the race doesn't immediately end. It will then seemingly end some random time after. Not when you wreck all the vehicles, not after you've done another lap, not when you've then crossed the finish line for another lap, just at some random point. Likewise, the race has also finished before without all the other vehicles being wrecked. Sometimes it might finish after three laps, sometimes six laps, sometimes ten laps. There doesn't seem to be that I can work out any rhyme or reason of what you have to do in this challenge or what you need to do to win the challenge or how you know when it's going to finish. That being said, I think probably getting up into first place is a good thing to do. Oh, there's a good flying overtake, just as I say that. Great flying overtake to jump us into first place. I think it's a good idea probably to get into first place because I'm guessing whenever it does finish, <laughs> whoever knows when that will be, I I'm guessing you you will you'll get the position or the place that you are. So we want to be in first place. I'm going to sort of avoid avoid crashes to start with because as you'll have seen of the other vehicles there's they're all heavyweight vehicles there's the battle bus there's another bugzilla there that i've just managed to knock the wheel off um that is the there's um oh what else is the, there's helvesters there is uh is it called the doom rig i think all heavyweight vehicles so yeah, I mean, I didn't really have a chance of avoiding them there. Ooh, let's stay on the ramp. So, I'm going to try and stay out of trouble a bit. Stay in first if I can. Maybe do some hits if I can. Let's have a look how it's going on. Yeah, see, there's three already that are wrecked and out, and you can see the vehicles there. Battle bus, uh, step van, school bus. But yeah, there's, there's three vehicles already out. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hopefully stay up the front out of trouble. If there's some easy hits, I can do some easy damage without hopefully causing myself much damage. I'll take it. Then towards the end, <laughs> when there's a few vehicles left, if we get to that point, I'll then probably try and deal a bit more damage out. But again, I'm, I'm not even sure if, <laughs> if there's any value in that, if there's any point in that. I have no idea. 
Okay, we're whooping first anyway. I'm guessing we've got quite a good lead. Again, I'm not really sure. Four laps we've done so far. We'll we'll keep an eye. Again, normally I don't I don't pause and look at the menu, but I'm going to do that a few times here just to see how we're getting on and to see how many vehicles are left. That was a big head-on. One of our wheels has gone a bit wonky, and and I guess. I guess that's one thing I do need to watch. Oh, that's a good, a good one. Shove that bus straight over. He's nearly wrecked. I would have liked to have wrecked him, but oh, he's wrecked now. Perfect. Yeah, I guess the one thing I've got to watch is I don't damage my own vehicle too much. I mean, we've got is it 62? Yeah, 62 damage left, which is plenty. But that front wheel is is looking a bit dodgy. The last thing I want to do is lose a wheel. That would make things a little bit tricky and I certainly don't want to get wrecked how much damage has this thing got yeah we should be able to yeah that's it if we can get hits like that from behind where we're not hopefully gonna do ourselves much damage then I'll take them might speed things up a bit with finishing the race possibly maybe yeah it's, it's a real strange I mean I could understand the uh, if it was like a slip of the fingers by the developer and it's 255 laps instead of 25 or something or it's uh, let's see what we've got left yeah we're down to the last five aren't we five of us now yeah as I was saying I could understand if it was a slip of the, the finger from the developer and he's mistyped the number of laps or it's <laughs> he's put it in hex instead of decimal or something but but even then it doesn't stack up in that it, it doesn't seem to be completing the laps that uh, that finishes the race. Got this truck in front of us, this rig in front of us is in a right mess. Front right wheel's gone by the look of it, it looks totally squashed. We might try and hit that and give that a few knocks if we can. Ooh, gone sideways ourselves. That was quite lucky, quite a good land in that. Oh, head on straight into that. Did a lot of damage there. Oh, I was trying to wreck that. No, we're not quite wrecked it. That must be on its last legs as well. Yeah, still 55 damage left, so no problem there at all. But just got to watch that we don't knock our wheels off. I think if I think it's if you're not two wheels off, you're automatically wrecked. Even if you've got loads of damage left, as that. Uh, <laughs> That's that rig again, pancake rig. He's up by the side of me. I might slow down and let him pass here. See if I can get another hit on him. Come on, pass you come. I think he knows what I'm trying to do. Let's have a bit of a run up. See if we get him on the ramp again. Oh, that's a big crash anyway. He might have done himself some damage. That might be wrecked. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, I think that was the Doom Rig. So I reckon that's him out now. Only a few of us left. Whoops. Okay, round we come then. Eighth lap then. Who have we got left and where are they? Oh, there's one just ahead of me here around this, uh, around this loop. Let's see if we can catch them up. They're going for the ramp as well. How much damage has this one got left? Not too much. Can we safely finish this one off or not? Let's tip him over. That should do him a bit of damage.
Oh, there we go. That's a good wreck. What have we got? Yeah, it's just just me and this battle bus left now. And we're on lap nine. Where's he gone? Oh, he's tipped over. Let's turn around and see if we can hit him while he's on his side. That's done a bit more damage. Let's try that again. See if we can finish him off. Come on. Ooh. It's not clever. There we go. Wrecked. So, we're in first. Everyone's wrecked apart from us. We're the only vehicle left that the challenge hasn't finished. Yeah, just to confirm that, we're the only one left. <laughs> so now what do we do? I guess we just keep going and wait till it finishes. I'd say from experience, nine laps is a fairly long race. There doesn't seem to be any reason. I mean, I could understand if it finished now when we went over the finish line when we go back over that finish line we've just come through or um, or even if we did a complete lap and came back to the point where we wrecked the last vehicle or something like that but just just seems totally random let's let's see if and when we wreck oh there we go there's the finish just before just before I come across the finish line for the start of a new lap well that's the end of the daily challenges for today managed to get three gold trophies and one silver trophy that's uh, that race with the the limo was just a bit tough I probably maybe with another lap I might have uh, I might have managed to to win that race as well and then obviously we had that really strange fourth challenge at the end then <laughs> not really sure what's going on but I hope you've enjoyed watching the video and see you soon